Hello, hello, and welcome to another video. All right, so I have mentioned the calendar system that I used for you guys before. You know, that's where I recently did my countdown. I just have to make sure it's all cleared off so that we can start our new challenge, okay? I'm a visual goal setter, so I like to see what I've done, see what I need to do, and that is the biggest reasoning behind me doing this calendar. You're gonna see in a moment, I actually put my cycle days on there. That's just a little note to myself, a little note to my husband, and I'll be leaving soon, so this calendar is pretty important, okay? This is an important calendar. <laughs> I didn't show this, but I actually had a bottle of water before even walking out of the bedroom. And then I start with my celery juice, and you guys know I still do my gallon water as well. And I just took the vitamins with my celery juice this morning, and it was actually great. Like, it did what it was supposed to do with my stomach, okay? You're gonna see later on. Good morning. So it's 7.50. I just dropped off Kennedy. And I gotta go back home because my stomach is hurt. I've been drinking. Y'all saw that celery juice from this morning? Girl, that juice be getting you right. That juice be getting you right. So I need to go back home because <laughs> look, I need to make um I need to make a little pit stop at home because my stomach ain't doing what's right right now. And as you can see, if you can see just back there, look at the sky. It looks like it's about to rain, so I need to hurry up and get the run out of the way. Um before it rains so here, here's the lineup for today drop kennedy off run come back home and eat come back home and make bead orders and film shorts and reels and all that kind of good stuff and then go back out and work out again and then from working out i'm going to go pick up kennedy so that's how the lineup of my day is going to go there's nothing else going to be added into today my husband has to do like a catering thing tonight so i do have to pick up kennedy but that's how it's rolling out today okay so i'm gonna shut up i talked enough in yesterday's video i'm gonna be quiet and i will see you guys as the day progresses i'll just pop in and show you what i'm doing all right i hope you're doing good this morning all right so i'm done i'm back in the house we finished the first workout which was the run um, i was only supposed to do it was supposed to be a recovery run and I was supposed to do 12 minutes, um, I believe, but I went to 15. I just jogged around my apartment complex, which I actually like a lot better, seemingly, than going to the park. I really like the scenery at the park, at my other park. The other park be having too many people. I like this out here because I can literally step right into the house. You know, it's really cold in here. It's like, like 68 degrees inside of the house. So it, that feels good to walk into like cool air after you're done. Um, yeah, and I have to waste no gas. So I think from now on, I'm just going to do runs like right here. Unless, you know, I'm going to try to do the runs right here. It's just easier. And there's really no excuses because all you have to do is put on your shoes and leave out of the house. And I might even be able to go like further. Like I can just run outside of the gate into the school. So I have uh, 26 days as, to, as of today to continue on the running. That's going good. I did mention that I actually need to go to AT&T to get our phone. So I told you guys in yesterday's video, I would tell you about this today. Um, I'm not gonna let you in on all the business because that really don't matter. It doesn't, um, but long story short is AT&T is giving me a hard time with adding new lines to our other line. Or we wanna get all this stuff situated before 
I leave. So if they don't do it today, I mean, we've paid off our phones. We have um, paid for new phones and I don't know, something wrong with their system. I don't get what's going on. So either they're gonna refund us our money today for the new phones that we paid for and we're gonna switch to, to Verizon, but I need to get that candle today, which I'm really dreading. Cause when I tell you, we've been working on this for like forever now. I've been trying to do it for like a year. We really, like we just paid off the phones this month. So we've been trying to like actively hardcore working on this for like a month. And it's just a lot of running around. And you know, my husband has to work. So our schedules, don't always like align to where we can go into the store together and all this kind of stuff. So if I can't do it today, Verizon will welcome me with open arms and I'll go to them. So let me finish up the day. I think it's too early to eat, eat still. It's 8.37, so I'm gonna have me a shake or a juice or something like that. And I'll buy houses cash. Let me turn this down, girl. So I just came out of the grocery store. I picked up a few things. I picked up some tamales for my husband and some little, some of these little H-E-B, when I say H-E-B meals, this be them right here. I don't even know if you can see that. H-E-B meals for my son, he loves steak and potatoes. So I got that. I'll show you guys the mushrooms when I get home. But this was on the radio, I'm, a, I'm about to, I'm about to step on the toe too. Step on the toe too. So they were basically, there was a woman on the radio and she was basically like, she wants a man who will help out with the chores. And y'all know my video yesterday, I made I made mention of that like that's my husband he we don't have gender roles in our house but a lot of women say that they want that but are you willing to do the things that men typically do like are you willing to get a job to take care of the house if that's what's necessary I get it like we want men to do some of those other things and I think that they should I absolutely think they should but are you the woman who's saying you want men to do that but you refuse to do a little bit more unconventional things on your side girl let me know below okay because y'all y'all so butthurt about the army <laughs> y'all so butthurt about the army I'm just girl I said, I think I beat that, that horse dead yesterday. I'm just not one of those people. I'm not entitled. I don't think, nobody owes me anything. Nobody, America don't owe me nothing. Like, my mom don't owe me nothing. That was one of my sister and I's arguments. And she was like, you feel like um, our parents, like my mom or dad don't owe me nothing. They don't. Nobody owes you a daggone thing. Nobody. And that entitled mindset will get you absolutely nowhere no zero it won't go it won't get you nowhere you no, nobody owes you anything okay i get people commenting on my channel all the time um as if i owe someone to respond to that comment or as, as if i owe to give someone something or just entitled girl y'all just entitled baby nobody owe me exactly one thing and if i get something i'm grateful for if i don't you don't owe me okay. nothing but as we know by now I just think a little different because girl, you don't, nobody owe you nothing. That's asinine. My children, whatever I give to them, they should be grateful for. If they're not grateful, that's their business. They don't owe me gratitude and I don't owe them to do anything for them outside of provide the necessities for them. But you know, everybody don't even grow up in situations like that. My husband and I were talking this morning, and like I said, I, I never will get on here and tell his story because it's not my story to tell. Um, but we were talking about just upbringing. <laughs> he, was, he was saying one day he went to school. It's really not funny, but he was saying one day he went to school. Um, I, I told him I was going to stick salami in his bag. And I was just playing. Like, I'd just be saying little crazy stuff. But I was like, his bag was open and I was like, I'm gonna stick some salami in your bag. He said, why would you do that? I hate salami. And I'm like, honey, why do you hate salami? Like, you know, you know what salami, wee wee, it's a little bougie. Why you like hate salami? And he said, one day I went to school <laughs> with a salami sandwich on two pieces, <laughs> on two pieces of inbred. I can't believe I'm telling this story. On two pieces of inbred inside of the Wonder Bread bag. And when he pulled it out, someone said, <laughs> right, right. someone said, someone said, he bought bread for, he bought bread for lunch. 
So now he don't like salami because of that experience. So you know, I'm think I might make him like a sal a homemade salami pizza. You know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do for my husband this weekend because I want him to like salami again. Salami, salami's good. He don't need to have anything against salami, especially girl. Bad experience would really ruin. Like it will have you not liking a lot of stuff. I can't believe I just shared that and laughed through the whole process. <laughs> I am weak, but I was tickled this morning when he said that. I could... <laughs> you bought bread. <laughs> he bought bread. <laughs> I could just hear a little kid saying that. That is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. That's hilarious. All right, so Verizon it is. I spent all, it's 10:48 right now. So I spent all this time inside of there trying to get them to release the numbers and do all this and that. He's trying to get me to buy another phone. I didn't got him to, he didn't got me to buy some AARP thing to get a discount. And my son's phone, through all this process, which I didn't even know, we actually paid it off last night. So we're just gonna move, we're gonna take our talents to South Beach, okay? <laughs> and move all three of the lines. I don't have time for none of it. We're gonna move all three of the lines elsewhere because and he said it he was like i'm not sure why they make it harder to for clients like to be retained it's literally easier to go into another cell phone company and start a new service than it is to stay with them and transfer lines that's asinine so what if the person died and i'm trying to do a transfer of billing responsibility you want me to go what do you want me to do contact the dad to transfer the number that don't make no sense it makes no sense whatsoever like, so if you can't talk to them, you gonna wanna talk to a dead person? How you gonna get the information then? I'm telling you I have the information and you, so we're gonna take our talents to South Beach. <laughs> and yeah, there's that. So now I have to wait till they release my coins. Let me actually call the bank. I'm gonna talk to you later. All right, so let's see what I got. I got these two mushrooms. Like I said, some tamales, some, Top smart tortillas for the family. Some chipotle gouda cheese. Some fresh mozzarella. Um, some a little small thing of onions that's already chopped. This one was 50% off, so I don't have to chop up all this stuff. And then the same with these bell peppers. That's for the stuff um, for the stuffed mushrooms. And then I'm gonna chop this broccoli up and I'm gonna stuff it inside of the mushrooms as well. So this is gonna be all included in mushrooms and I'm gonna add some spinach to it. All right, so while that, while I start to prepare that, I'm actually gonna make myself a smoothie because I haven't eaten anything at all today aside from that, I drink that celery juice. These came from um, Walmart. I never seen these before at Walmart, but they just came to my Walmart. It's aloe vera pieces. So you like to make smoothies? I mean, look at that. Aloe vera pieces. And then I have this um, Asia Berry, however you say it, I said Asia. Um, smoothie pack, 84 calories. Girl, always checking the carbohydrates. It has zero net carbs, okay? Because it has six carbs and then six grams of fiber. So I'm gonna add this to a smoothie with some protein power powder and just sip on that while I make my lunch. And then here it is. So let me get to working on these. All right, so here it is. Um, I have the like the mixture in here. Like I said, it's broccoli, spinach, the peppers that I showed you. Um, I did put a little the cholesterol free, like smart balance in there. Um, and then some of my Asian bean paste, just for a little flavor, just for a little flavor. And I'm just gonna load these babies up. Okay, so then after I load those up that way, I actually have some fresh mozzarella over here. I'm gonna take and put some of this on top of there. Now, I'm not gonna eat these all at once, of course. I'm just making them so when I do get ready to eat them, I can just pop them in the air fryer. And then the same with this cheese, just gonna pinch off some of it. I looked at the vegan cheese. I'm not vegan, by the way. I just like to get my vegetables in to keep my, oops, you know, keep me regular, girl. 
I'm, so I went over there and looked at the vegan cheese and baby, all the foolishness they put inside that vegan cheese, you might as well eat the regular cheese. And that's just how I feel about it. That is just how I feel about it. I know some people don't agree, but I'm just gonna put that one over there. This is this cheese came from like the um what do you call it? The gourmet cheese section. So it's not where the like craft, <laughs> not where the craft macaroni and cheese is. It's, it's on the other side, like where the fresh meats and stuff is. I think you can get cheese like this from um, the wine and liquor store too. At least Specs here has like a gourmet food section that you can get stuff like this from. So there it is. And then here is the finished one. Um, this one is ready for me to eat and I just put a little extra of the toppings on top. All right, and then I have two options for meat. Now you don't have to have meat with this because I'm probably only gonna have, I mean, it's 11.34 at this point, I haven't eaten. So I only have enough time to eat one more meal. Here's some scallops. Um, I could cook those, but I don't feel like cooking those because like I said, I'm kind of late eating. This one, the smoked Atlantic um, salmon, I really, really like this. It's kind of like, um, like the salmon that they use for nigiri. Um, but I didn't look at it before. So two ounces is really the serving size, okay? And it's not very much. It's not very much, so. Because y'all know how it goes. Here's this food skill. If you have a problem with weighing food, girl, just don't do it, okay? You just don't, wait. don't let Tanzania convince you that you need to be weighing out any food. So there's that. We're just gonna zero that out like in science plants. And this is gonna help me to determine how much, so let's see. Not a balancing act. That's 194, and I'll just go ahead and add the other one in there. So, there we go. So let me enjoy my food, and I will see you guys later. Why would Kennedy do this? Why would Kennedy put this junk under my desk? You see this? She opened up the Play-Doh thing and just dumped it out under my desk, along with her dolls and stuff, but I already bought that to the bag. All right, hello, y'all. It is 1-11, okay? It's 1-11 and I am headed to the gym, baby. I'm tired, can you tell? Can you tell I'm tired? Literally was sitting at my desk after I got done cleaning up the mess. Um, I was like, man, I could just go lay in the bed. But I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna stay up. I'm gonna stay up till like nine o'clock because that's just how it's gonna be, right? So, but it is an adjustment. I'm not gonna complain too much because that means I'm gonna succumb to my complaints. So I'm gonna go to the gym. Um, I'm gonna do the stairmaster just because I already ran this morning. The elliptical. We already talked about the elliptical like a while back. I was telling y'all that it doesn't really help my mile time whatsoever. Like it has to be on very high. It's just not the same running. It's, it's nothing like running. I thought it was and it wasn't. So I'm just gonna keep the running for the morning time. And this afternoon I'm gonna do the Stairmaster. I'm gonna do, let's say we're gonna do 12 minutes. Since I run this morning was 12 minutes, even though I did 15. So let's try to do 15. Let's shoot for 15 minutes. I'm gonna sit in the sauna and then I'm gonna go get Kennedy. And I should be right on schedule. It should not take me no, it's not gonna take me an hour. So if I do 15 minutes and then mm, 30 minutes in a sauna, yeah, I'll be headed back in the right direction in just in the time and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so it's 1.59 and we are done done. So what I did was I ended up doing 15 minutes in the sauna and I was looking at the time at like 12 minutes, barely able to make it girl, barely. But I did make it to 15. Remember that our initial goal was 12 minutes, so 12 on the stair of master and then 30 minutes in the sauna. Um, but that didn't happen. So we did more minutes on the stair masters. I did 15, I actually did 16 minutes on the stair master, but I just went ahead and did 15 minutes on the sauna because it was enough. Let's see what the total calories burned for today is 689 active calories and i showed you guys what i've eaten so far today um i'm probably gonna have i don't know i like to do yeah, probably yogurt parfait for dinner um 
nothing too serious or I might have another one of those mushrooms I'm not being too strict um, I am already within the weight requirements I told you guys so right now it's really just about fitness like being able to be fit enough and when I say fit enough you know fit and fitness and um, body weight do not like just because you thin don't mean you're in shape and just because you look like you're in shape down me you can run okay so i'm working on my cardiovascular endurance and it's been, it's going pretty good um my mile time today was two minutes less than when i first started so we're moving forward in the right direction not gonna stress myself out about it i just want to continue moving so that's really it for today um well, that's it for this portion of the day. I don't know, maybe you guys wanna see my wind down at the end of the night? Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys me winding down. So I'm about to go get Kennedy and then I'll see you guys once I get home. All right, so this is after school. I let Kennedy take her stuff and then she's Come gonna on. head straight to the tub. Okay. And when she goes to the tub, I am going to step in the front and prepare her dinner. So today she had this little pizza thing. She actually didn't like it. She liked making it, but she didn't like like the pizza itself. I just set all this out for her. My son makes his own dinner sometimes. Sometimes there's a meal already prepared, but this is kind of like the time that I use to get those last minute things done at nighttime, whether it's doing the dishes, doing the floor, just the last minute tidy ups that maybe I didn't get a chance to do during the daytime. I take the time to do it at night. The last thing I want to do is wake up in the morning to a dirty house. And you guys know the push ups, baby, the push ups are still here, okay? And before I head to the back to get my shower out of the way, I'm actually going to have myself some dinner. These are scallops and kimchi, and then in that bowl is like some berries with nuts and flax seeds. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is about to be six o'clock, and this is the end of the day. So I already showed you guys my like wind down routine as far as my facial routine, um, my leg, y'all know. Y'all know the kind of workouts we did today. So my leg needs a little TLC. I showed you guys that in the video. I'll link it for you. As always, if you have a question, ask a question and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow. Um, Y'all know we go back to MEPS this week. So I'm definitely gonna put that, um, document that for you guys as much as I can, but I will see you guys later.